For more on all of this and other issues facing the new government in Israel, we are joined once again by Daniel Levy, a Middle East specialist and senior fellow at the New America Foundation, a nonpartisan public policy institute. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, he has now apparently risen to the, at least the potential of forming a government here. Uh, how is that likely to impact the peace process and relations with the United States? Well, Benjamin Netanyahu has now been tasked by President Perez four weeks, possible two-week extension, to form a government. And I think he will succeed in forming that government. On the peace process front, it really depends what you contrast it with. The previous government was publicly committed to the peace process, much more than one anticipates Mr. Netanyahu will be, and yet there was very little real progress on the ground, and there were two wars during the term of the uh, Olmert government. Netanyahu, when he was prime minister previously, there weren't any wars. There was a halting peace process. I think the key difference here, the key question, is the environment in which Mr. Netanyahu will be operating. It's a changed region, much more unstable, much greater American involvement, commitment, Iraq, troops, greater American interests, and a real sense that the the window is closing on the possibility of getting a two-state solution, a sense of urgency. So I think the question will be much more, what is the American approach than necessarily what is Mr. Netanyahu's approach? What do you think, what kind of government will he be able to cobble together? And in other words, is it going to be all the way to the right or do you think he'll have some centrist um, positioning in it? He has expressed a clear preference for a broad government. He would like to bring in the Centre Party, the Kadima of Tsipi Livni, he'd like even to bring in the Labour Party. The big shift that's happened here in Israel is that the Labour Party, the centre-left party, was always the largest or the second largest party. Now it's the fourth largest party. So there has been a shift to the right. Netanyahu may be faced with an option that he can only form a coalition with the hard-wing nationalist right and with the orthodox right. It may well be that the centre and the left parties decide to go into the opposition. Even a right-wing government may be unstable because the secular nationalists and the religious nationalists have plenty that they argue about. Well, we're just about out of time, and I don't want to lose sight of this question. How do you think that this government would interact, say, against Iran? Right. It wasn't a big issue in the election. Mr. Netanyahu has clearly stated a red line on an Iranian nuclear program. I imagine that Israel will say, there's a new American administration. Let's see how engagement works. Several months down the line, though, we may face a situation where is it deterrence, is it containment, or is it military action? And here, the position of the Obama administration will be absolutely key. Daniel Levy, thank you, as always. Thank you.